Hello everybody, um, Anna here. I'm coming on, filming this video to show you a jewelry haul from two local thrifts um, in my area that I shop at quite frequently. And also I wanted to um, mention and, and thank everybody who attended my live giveaway yesterday where we filled the jewelry drawers and gave them away. If you didn't know, you might wanna go back and watch it. I thought it was fun. But anyways, I wanted to make mention that I went out today and I bought these little boxes to ship your jewelry in and they'll be wrapped nicely in there, the jewelry, and then this will be in an envelope. I'm not going to ship the jars. It's just a risk of breakage and so forth. So you'll get your jewelry in these little boxes. Congratulations and thank you. Okay, quick mention of that. I also wanted to... Um, I was going to do this video like Friday or something, but I came on today to do the video because I will actually, you know, I'm going to be preparing for my live buy it now that's on Monday. If you're new to me, um, you can go back and look at previous live buy it now and auctions I've, I've had if you want to get an idea of how they go. But at, on alternating Mondays, this Monday coming up will be the live buy it now sale at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And the Monday after this Monday will be my live auction. Thelma Thrift joins me as my auctioneer. I think it's a lot of fun in both the auction and buy it now. I enjoy myself. But anyways, um, what I was mentioning there is um, I'm, I'm going to be getting ready for that, you know, with um, looking up the jewelry, trying to identify things that I don't know, etc., and selecting items as well. So I'll do a video probably... Um, I'll most likely do the video Saturday or Sunday showing when I'm going to bring to auction some of the things. And um, yeah, I, I can take requests if there's things I'm not showing that anybody wants to see. They can ask me. Honestly, you can ask me in the video or during to buy it now. If, you know, if people ask me, hey, do you have this, do you have that? If I have it and I'm selling it, I'll pull it out. I'm fine with that. I have no problem with that at all. But um, I'm going to get started showing this here. Uh Oh, one quick mention. If you're new, you can go back and look at my last auction that was on Monday if you didn't see it yet, um, just to get an idea and to buy it now to see. I think I already mentioned that. I'm so sorry. But anyways, whatever. Let's show the jewelry. This is a fabulous jewelry box that I will show. Back there, let me lift it up. That is an all Monet except for the fish that's fishing. I apparently, after one local thrift, had encountered somebody's collection over the last two visits i didn't when i go back saturday i will be going back saturday and i'll probably show that in a thrift haul video too i don't know what i'm going to find but i found a couple of nice pieces today that i'll show you nice other type of items let me get started okay i'm gonna bore you guys i found this a little while ago and it's cute i kept it my daughter asked me if this was a teething <laughs> it's so dainty if it's a teething one amber i have cherry i kept this one this is for me it's very light and it's it's a it's cute they're cut into stars you have the cherry um honey they get it gets lighter as it goes up i like it it's light and i like a light necklace i don't like anything real heavy um and let me get started there's oh, yeah these are lovely okay yeah i showed you the ring yesterday i found that thrifting it's costume but i really like it i found these earrings they're clip. They match it. I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to keep those out. These are made in Israel. They're opals. And it's marked 925 Israel. It's, it's sterling. I, I tested them already. I test them twice. I know that's crazy. I test them once and I test them right before I sell them. But they're nice. Both of those, I think, are nice. These, obvious, these are not sterling, but these are. And these are ones that are marked Israel. Let me move along. Move along. Not going to move real fast. If you can't, people don't want to make it through it, then they, they can come back later or something, you know. Um, I want to show the things so people can see. This is cute. Um, this is a Joan Rivers convertible earrings. There's, like, a lot of different colors down there. You open these up. Kind of cool, I thought. Oh, it comes off of hair. You take the backing up, slip it up off. Look, it's cool. I don't think you guys probably saw these at note. But you open this up and you stick the ball in there and then close it back up and seal it like that. Those are a Joan Rivers collection of earrings. There's a lot of different colors in here. 
Look at my frog. Nothing real exciting, but it's adorable. Looks like somebody dented his little back when they stuck this on, but it's cute. I don't know if I could sell it with that dent. I might just keep them back there on my backdrop. I thought he was cute. Um, I'll start with this one since it's close. These are a pair. Of, they look like they have diamond dust on them. Um, bangles. I don't see any markings on them. They're nice, though. They're, they're bracelets, obviously, right? Do I need to tell you that? <laughs> it's redundant. Um, and I got this for myself. I like the crosses. Um, this is a lovely cloisonne on sterling. Little dainty chain. Look how pretty that is. True cloisonne. Right? That's what I expect it to look like. When I see it and it looks different, like I get a little confused, like the beads that I sold. Still not convinced they were true cloisonne, but I don't know. It is what it is. All right, I have this. This is so confused. I saw the Monet signature clasp, and I was thinking, okay, ooh, a Monet reverse, what, Intaglia, this is called, I think, reverse carved glass. This is an Avon piece. It's signed Avon. It's still nice. Look, it's a shepherd and his dog. I don't know if this is a, like, a birth sign. I don't know which one that would be. Let me put it. There you go. See that? It's still nice. Avon on Monet. I'm actually going to sell it that way. He has a bow, and that is a dog. Let me show it one more time in case I make wants to see it. It's nice. It's a nice one. Um, there he is. There kind of looks like a woman from behind. And this is Quartz. I liked it. These are glass, I believe. I have to test, um, check them out further. But it's a on a, you know, toggle. I thought it was pretty, so I picked it up. It's a necklace, obviously, huh? Um, this is Crown Trafari. I'll test it. Make sure. It feels like Lucite. I don't know. I'm going to test that piece for Bakelite um, just to make sure. But this is a Trafari. It's not Crown. It's just Trafari. It's vintage. Um, probably went 80s or 90s Trafari. The signature on it, actually, and I don't remember exactly, but that is a newer signature. It is the Trafari in handwriting. But anyways, I found that. I don't see a whole lot of Trafari look like that, so I, that looks like that, so I picked it up. This is Monet. I'll get to my Monet uh, thing back there. This is Monet. I believe it's probably like 80s. It's nice and heavy. It has substantial um, feels. It's nice. It's a nice necklace. It is signed down here by Monet. I mean, the color and the look, I think this is probably 80s. It has a J-hook. I didn't study the cop the home you know the maker's mark and i don't remember all of that off by heart but i thought it was nice monet and a little giraffe look how cute he is same type of thing as the frog i think somebody glued this on after the fact maybe i don't know it's thin i don't know if this is actually like a brass or i don't know tin i have no idea what this well it's not tin but there you go. Little giraffe. He's really cute. This is unmarked. It is a little silver tone, um, you know, tie necklace that you... You know the gist of it, for God's sake. Sorry. <laughs> um, you tie it and it's silver, okay? It has these old things. So that's nice. It's not bad. Has a mark on it though. Let me. Oh, this, this. Okay. First eye view on this. I think this is Juliana. I'm gonna study. I'm gonna look on the website and see. But my guess is Juliana. 
It's really lovely. We've got, let me show you this one. Look at it. It's really beautiful. Oh my God. It's very beautiful. My, uh, my magnifying glass needs a wipe. Sorry about that nasty looking spot. <sighs> it's coffee probably. Um, It's really lovely. Look at it. And then the back. I do believe that's Juliana. We're really good. Uh, I don't know. I know Juliana really that well. I'm kind of uh, getting it, understanding it though. When I see it, I'm pretty close to right when I say it is. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. I will look at it closer. These are vintage Weiss earrings. Obviously, all Weiss is vintage, right? Um, there, let's. Very lovely. Fully pronged. These may, I don't know how old these are. Obviously, don't know for certain. It says waist. They don't appear. This is a little worn back hair. They're pretty though. Together like that, they kind of look like a pair of wings to me. What else? Um, these are sterling silver. That is a general pearl. This, these are sterling Lamode, I think it says. These are sterling as well. Those kind of Mexican or something that you think. Or I wonder if these could be vintage. I have to look into them like not antique. I don't know how old they are. They they're sterling silver. I tested them. Um, wait, do I see green on that? No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they're um they're both screw backs. They both say sterling. I did test them and they both come out as sterling silver. These ones I was talking about, um, maybe Art Nouveau. I don't know. They're nice. I'll have to look into them a little bit before I sell these ones. They look old to me. Older than they look may maybe older than vintage is what I mean. Um this is Lisner, can't you tell? Just look at the Lisnerness of it. Writing plating, it's shiny, like soft, looks and buttery. It's it's nice. Um, and pure matching earrings with this set. There's the brooch. I like to put things. Behind my magnifying glass. Oh my God! I just dropped it. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. The earrings are screw back. They're both vintage, obviously. It's listener um nineteen. I don't know. I've never studied listener like makers marks or anything. But these look like fifties to me. It's a guess. Complete guess. Lovely, lovely set. Will be sold as a set. I'll they'll come soon to the they're easy for me to identify and so forth so i don't really have to research them these are gold plated they're not gold and that's probably glass i don't know i didn't test it and i will probably glass and cubic zirconian or crystals but still really a lovely pair of earrings you know i love red jewelry it looks like a garnet it's probably glass though because these are plated they're not real gold they're lovely still, nonetheless. I found myself a West Germany clip that I do not have. You know, I like those dress and shoe clips. Clipped West Germany, Japan, World War II items, Coro Sterling, etc. Keep me in mind. <laughs> if you sell, you know, keep me in mind. Um, very lovely. That's I do not have that one. That will go into my little collection of jewelry that's building. All right, let me, these look like Lisner, but are not marked. Like, I would guess Lisner on these. They don't have a marking on them that I can see. I'll have to look again. Don't you think they look like a Lisner kind of? They're lovely. So it's just very nice pair of earrings. Um, these ones here are Weiss. Not sterling. I did test them to make sure they're not. Um, so I believe, yeah, waist was around during the war. Um, so I wanted to make sure they, they weren't 
like a pair from back then. I don't know the age on them. They have a copyright, okay? They're post-1955, we know that. Um, I know that. They're nice, they're Weiss clips. Here, these are Sterling as well, Mark Sterling, Little Leaf. I think they just say Sterling on here. I didn't see any other hallmarks, oh, or am I lying? I don't know what that says. I don't know if I sell them. I'll let you know what they say then. All right, let me pull for the Monet. Well, oh, wait, look at this. This is a El Raza circus pin. Do you know circuses are gonna be a thing of the past if they aren't already? I know here in that state that I live in, I don't, I haven't seen a circus in a while. This is a little vintage, I'll, I like this one. Um, El Raza. Pewter. It's a pewter. Um, this is, I don't know when this is from, but it's cute. I like it. Circuses are going to be a thing of the past quite soon. So I pulled these out of a bulk of earrings, like 10 pairs. I bought a pack for like a couple bucks because they were abalone and I was hoping they were gold, but they are not. But that is abalone does not look exactly the same but it wouldn't because i think there's a lot of differentiation between this one and this one though but that's a pair of abalone earrings let me pull over to monet he's not monet oh, jj a fish catching a cat that's adorable it's a cute brooch i have an unclasped because i had it on there but it is a jj I thought that this one, the El Raza, was a JJ as well, but it's El Raza. They're vintage, I believe. I, I don't know a lot about them. I have to read into it. This is Monet. This is mid-century, I believe. 50s, 60s, not really sure of when, but it's big. It's like a five-inch flower. It's lovely. Look how it's attached. Like, yeah. Probably fifties. I, I have I'd have to look the hallmark and everything, you know, the maker's mark and everything, but it's definitely an older one. It's really nice. I've never seen one like this. I couldn't find it online. I did look briefly because I was excited to find it, but I'll look. I thought it was very pretty. This is all Monet on here. Like I said, I believe that I found somebody's um like collection, like they died or something. Which is terrible, but whatever. I mean, I mean, it's terrible, but it's going to good hands. People appreciate it. Um, I know I do. I think it's lovely. This is Monet. This has the signature clasp. This is probably 1980s or 90s. I don't can't say for certain. Obviously, I didn't look at the mark, and I'm not an expert. But it's nice. Rhinestones and hair, enameling. Very nice. And I believe it is original to the chain. That one. This one is something else. <laughs> okay, hear that wind chime? This is nice. This is Lune. I believe it's acrylic. I don't know exact dating on this. I didn't look in a book, it may be in there. I'm, I'm gonna take a quick guess at it, shot. 1950s, perhaps. I believe he's probably acrylic. I know when I read the book, and I had a set of acrylic that I sold in bulk to somebody um, that was from 1951 to 55. Something like it got the dates down. But this, um, this is lovely. A lovely Monet necklace. Unique, uh, to say the least. I've, in my limited experience, I see a lot of Monet because I buy a lot of jewelry. I haven't, in research, haven't seen one like this. This is nice. I will research it further, and you ladies that collect money, I'm sure you will too. But I'll be looking in a book and at the homework. Has that color, mid century color. Um, this next necklace is not marked Monet, but I'm almost certain it's Monet. Oh, I, oh God, forgive me for that. <laughs> sorry. Uh, people know me, you know, I'm not gonna, I am not gonna edit that, and I'm so sorry, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this is a long, okay, it has, you know, the older, some of the older Monet just had a tag hanging off of it. This does not have a tag. It's a spring ring clasp. I believe I saw one of these in the Monet book. I have to look. This is like 60s, 
60 inches, I think. It's lovely. It's heavy. I'm not going to, I mean, I can't call it Monet necessarily, but um, I would be willing to bet a few bucks that it is. And it's nice. I'll look at that one up as well as much as I can without a hang tag on it. Here's an example of that. You know, it's, it doesn't have an emblem. I append it on it. This is, well, this one, you know, it, it's spring ring. Uh, I tried to look at that to see. I believe this one's a little older as well. I don't know exactly when. I'll look in a book and so forth and study it myself so I can learn because I'm all about learning. Appreciate all the input people give me um, very much. It's very nice, though. I sold it one, a bigger one like this not long ago. This is a thinner version of that with that, like it's like a brushed gold on there. And the colors, you know, different color than the modern. Um, well, 1980s, it's all vintage. But And then we have this signature clasp. This is probably 1980s. This is a rope. It's nice, nice, nice long chain. Probably bring us to like one of the buy it nows or something. Put a price on it if anybody's interested. I mean, this might be something everybody has. Still nice or I might keep it. I don't know. I gave all mine away to my daughter or sold it. She likes it. And why, you know, well, actually she gave me what I paid for it. <laughs> Not that I'm cheap, but you know, I, she was okay with that. All right. Um, this is nice as well. Look at it. Oh my lord of mercy. No, okay. Looking at the back of this. Jump in if I'm wrong, guys. Even tell me down in the comments if you know what you're talking about. This is my guess. This is a guess. I'm not an expert. I do know some things. I'm learning. I'm learning and I pick up quick. But I'm not right on everything. But by looking at this, 1940s or 50s, would you say? It does not have a maker's mark. It makes it a little more complicated to date an item for me. If there's no maker's mark, how do I know? How can I date it? We have mall based style pearls and I've pronged rhinestones. I can look at that. I'm trying to look at the gold finish that they have on it. This is awfully bright. But by looking at the back of it and seeing this on other items, I, that I've on some jewelry, I confirmed this 40s, 50s, it's had that, and then this type of layering design. But if anybody can tell me anything different than that, please do. I, I continue to research it. That's my estimation. I, it is no fact. It's just my trying to put together of how old I think this is. I could be completely wrong. Somebody could have made this down in their basement two months ago. I don't know. <laughs> it made it look vintage. I try. It's not, it's a complicated a little bit. Um, that could be modern. I, that's just an estimation. Like I said, I'm not trying to act like I know what I'm doing because I know. Um, <laughs> this is lovely as well. Okay. Another reversed glass and Intaglia. I believe it's how you, what it's called. We have the cherub trying to get his arrow off a larger angel here. Amber colored glass. Reverse side. Let me put this on something. How's it look on black? Not good. Let, I guess uh, it would look. It looks okay on here. I guess I don't know. I don't like the way it looks on there either. But there's the reverse side. There is the side that you'll be looking at when you wear it. It's nice. Let me show you the necklace. It's long. It's triple string. It's a nice necklace. It has the clasp up top. It's a fold over clasp with like the shape of a bow. We have tr three strands. You have these glass purple. Those are glass. They're pronged on one side and you know set on that side. Um, it's long. You have and the chain comes in different three different layers on it. Look. Before I sell it, I'll measure it. I'm not going to do that. Hey, whatever. It's a little tangled. It's three layers. It's when it, if I do sell it, I'm going to have to wrap it very carefully because I never want to ship something to somebody and it's all tangled up. I just, I don't like opening something like that. <laughs> I, don't mind. I mean, I, it's okay, but I, I don't want to present my jewelry to somebody like that bought it, but whatever. I, I'm going to have to untangle it. It's long and it's, it's really nice if you ask me. Um, I'm going to get to my jewelry box in a minute. When I saw that today, I had to have it. 
I went down to the thrift store today. Let me tell my little story, another sob story for me. Well, I went to the thrift store today to pick up. I went through, I, you know, I picked 30 items. So I shop off the wall and then I shop behind the counter. I had a number of items, 25 to 30 items I got off the wall and then I looked in the counter and I went at four items. Only three of them were in my bag. Now, I did not know if I paid for the item or not because of the way they ring it up in a thrift. You do not, cannot identify what it is. Let me show this. Um, this is Ann Taylor. And you can, that's nice. Um, anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, one of the items were missing. It was a big, giant bumblebee. He was rhinestones. He was gold tone. He was like five inches, and he had white rhinestones clustered all through his body. It was fantastic, and I wanted them. You know, I wanted to have them. <laughs> it was not in my bag. I called. They said, oh, we'll put it aside. We'll put it in the case. We're not allowed to put it aside. I was like, I possibly paid for it. And it's like, we're still not allowed to do that. I said, I'll put it behind the mannequin. I went down this afternoon. There, this is Ann Taylor, like I said. Nice long chain. I went down. It was gone. It was not there. They would not even acknowledge me to, on any level to what I was trying to say. They were rude, which they always are there for some reason. It seems like they don't like their job, so they take it out on people. So I, I told them, you know, I was upset. I was like, he didn't even know if I paid for this. Why are they, why is it gone? Why wouldn't it have been held? And if I didn't pay for it, then I'd have to chance because I found it and I wanted it. You know, I don't know if I paid for it or not. I can't even tell. And they're like, well, you should have counted your pieces of jewelry. Well, I was in the one in the North Hills, too. I brought home, like, 50 pieces of jewelry yesterday. I have no idea. Like, they, it got mixed, mingled. I priced, marked all my prices down because I log. I log what I pay for things, you know, so I know what to take it back for it. At least, you know, a fair rate to me and other people. But anyways, I'm calling corporate tomorrow. Um, the manager, I'll start there. Manager of both. So, and I'm, I, the manager that today, the young girl that was there was rude, would not acknowledge me. I got a little angry and I said something to the effect that people treat you very rude at work here, you know, which is true. I wasn't lying. And on my way out, I tried apologizing to her saying I didn't mean to be rude. She looked at me, turned around and walked away from me. When I walk into that store from now on, they may not like me. <laughs> But they will not disrespect me, I can tell you that, because I'm going to um, I'm going to make it acknowledged how rude they were. You don't treat people poorly just because you feel like it, you know. If you don't like your job, you get another one. I'm a polite person to people. There's please and thank you there all the time. I do that. I apologize when I shouldn't. I noticed in this world, though, if you haven't, the nicer you are, the worse people treat you. And that's the way it is. But I can get pushed over the limit. I may be a very nice, kind person they messed with the wrong lady when i walk in there they're going to smile at me and they're going to be nice even if they don't want to <laughs> i i don't mean it that way i don't like to be like that but you cannot treat people like that i not that it matters how much i spend there but i spend a lot of money in those thrift stores off the wall and in the counter and all i wanted was acknowledgement of hey we made a mistake why did we sell it? I think I paid for it. I don't know. I, whatever. Oh, sorry. Another tangent for you, another. It's a reason to be upset. That's all I could say. This is lovely. This looks like a picture. Okay. Looks like something from Italy. Yeah. I like that. I'll probably keep this. It's very nice. Rhinestones going around it. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, when I went in there today, I found this. <laughs> a lovely box and I stole it to shop. And I'm not going to be overly rude about them. I don't want anybody to get into trouble. I think they need to change their policy, though, to a degree. And if they see you all the time, which they do me, I'm there two days a week. And it's been a year. Um, a year. I'm in San Jolari a year. In and out of there twice a week for a year. They know me. I spend a lot of money. I wasn't trying to get something for free. They should have acknowledged my concern instead of walking away from me and treating me like I was a Bagging for money out in the street. Can I tell you what? I don't even treat people when I'm walking on the street that are vagrant the way they treated me, that are asking me for money. If I have it, I'll give it to them if I think they're hungry or something. You know what I mean? But anyways, I don't treat them with disrespect. I give them a acknowledgement, which you should. But it's a very poor established run down there, and they need to change that. All right, enough. I tried my daughter crazy with that. She was like, yeah, Mom, I'm making pot pie. She made homemade chicken pot pie. 
Me, I bought a homemade one from Giant Eagle that they made. That's what I'm eating later, probably. Um, just sounded good to me. All right. Starlight Silver Butterfly Ring. This is nice. I think it's like a size eight and a half. I measured it. It's nice. Yeah. That's nice. This is pretty, too. This is Napier right here. This is faux pearls, but nice little bow Napier with a box clasp right here. I have trouble opening these sometimes with, oh my God, when I'm looking through my phone. It opens. It does work. That's all you need to know, right? It's nice. I like the design of that. The gold tone there. I think that's very lovely. Now this, um, a question for the people who lasted this long. No, I'm kidding. All right, these are pearls. This has a texture of a pearl, but let me show you. Let me get my um, my burlap one here. It's better than a furry one. I hate the way they leave lint on there. It doesn't matter how much you clean them. They always look disgusting. I've got to, I might cover them with fabric. I mean, that's smart instead of getting rid of them. I'm all about recycling and keeping things. I'm going to tell you, look how cheap this is. If anybody makes it this long, tell me what you think about this. You know how when you print off your labels? <laughs> this is what I've been doing. I print off my labels, cut the label. I've been cutting a paper up to use as my labels uh, when I, I put a slip with what the person bought. Instead of buying post-its, I'm going to start using that. Why waste the paper? And I'm reusing it. I'm saving myself a couple bucks a month. It's a latte from Starbucks, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I may cover these ones with some type of fabric. I have some nice red, you know, I love red. And Dawn Hudson has some red ones. Oh my God, she had her background. I'm not gonna, sorry Dawn, I'm coughing off you again. No, I'm joking. <laughs> if you see this, I thought she does, she's extremely busy. But she has hers, uh, she has red and pink. Oh, it's just lovely. Um, I wouldn't mind having a red one. I have some fabric I can do it with. Okay, let me show you again. What I was saying is these, I don't know. I don't know what they are. I don't think they're pearls, but they're grainy. And I have to look at them closer. This is a, I'm going to test this as well, make sure these are not gold. Because sometimes it's hard to find the marking. It's nice. I picked it up for a couple bucks. Why not? I don't know what it is exactly, but I got myself one of my Japan necklaces today, yesterday. Look how lovely that is. Oh, I love it. It's a nice pink. These are grass, glass crystal, little, little plastic with these little pieces like glued on them. This is vintage. It's lovely. I'll go to my collection. I have multiple colors now. I don't think I've ever found a red one. If anybody ever sees a red one, pick it up for me and I'll buy it. I'll pay you more than you pay it. Obviously, you can sell it to me. I'll, I'll pay for it. I want a red one. But. All right. That I found. I found these. They are faux, but they're nice. I thought they were. They're long. And they look, um. They've got a nice feel to them. They're not heavy, heavy, but they've got a good weight. They, they're they nice. Pick those up. What else? Um, this. This is not sterling, but look at it. Um, it's on a bow. I'm going to trim that up and wash it, or maybe somebody can replace it or somebody buys it. So maybe I'll replace it, make it look better. It's a nice necklace. It's long. And this does not knot. I've had this like in a couple of times, it, it looked like it was knotted. And all I had to do, and there's some kind of label on it, I have to read it, is shake it out. And the necklace is back to normal. But it's very long. I can't get it on the big one. Um, Yeah, I can. Let me move my jewelry box. Let me show it. Look how long that is. It's nice, nice, nice. I wish it was sterling silver. But it's not. You see the bottom <laughs> I'm like, there it is. It's lovely. And it feels nice. It's got nice soft. It's soft and it's heavy. It's slinky. It's a nice necklace. This needs cleaned, cut up, or replaced. I don't know. Gotta get the label on it too. It, it is somebody. It's labeled. I use this. It's a little hairy. I am gonna cover it. I think I might work on that tomorrow or tonight. This is nice as well. Um, really, you know, I like my AB. Um, 
like numerous of these. This is one I might pair up and sell it. It has, uh, I like this little crystals there and then a Jayhawk. This is unmarked. It's a nice little dangle. It's short, it's a choker. Hey, now, Annie, I'll be sending you, uh, you're not gonna see this probably. One of my subscribers, she's probably, she's off on a business trip, I believe. But I'm gonna send this to her an email. She's gonna want a choker of multiple these. So I check and see if she's interested. I will check and see if she's interested in this one. She told me she wanted it to be choker style, and this is definitely choker. I know she's a thin woman, but this would be choker. Yeah, I can give it up. I have enough. I'll make sure. Um, I might pull another one of mine if I like this one better. I gotta look at it, but look, I love these. That, and I do, I do. I pick it AB up a lot, and I sell a lot of it. People like it still. People still wear it, apparently. Um, it's vintage. This I picked up. This I have a smaller one of these. This one's missing two little crystals up in the corner, though. I gotta find stones to replace it. But look how lovely that is. That's crystal. Look, has the balls. Different shapes. It's very nice. I repair that. It's gone to my repair. I gotta start repair, and I have a necklace that I'm, I'm trying to repair that I was gonna. Somebody's interested in. Um, I'm gonna work on it soon. I gotta find the correct. Uh, it's a, I need a vintage um, emerald cut uh, white rhinestone. Clear white. It might be crystal. I don't know. I gotta look and figure out what it is. But this is nice as well. It has plastic, um, some type of. I don't know what type it is, but these are a little over. Um, I think these ones are faux. I don't think they're real. But it's nice, it's gold tone, has a J-class back here. It's a nice necklace. I like those type of necklaces a lot. I, I buy them often. All right, this necklace is pr pretty nice too. I'm missing an auction, I gotta get off here. I saw a couple of things Sugar Vision's on and I saw a couple of things I was interested in. Um, I'm almost done here. Um, I didn't realize it was going to take me this long. I had a couple mishaps, including knocking my phone over while I was on here, if you guys. So sorry about that. This is lovely. These pieces are sterling. The rest is not. But it's really a lovely bracelet. That's purple with bright white um, crystals or rhinestones all over. It's a very nice one, I think. It's just a locket. I found a locket. And the market. What's that noise? Is it broken in there? No, I thought I. Oh, it was the chain in the back. Courting couple. Is that correct? Yes, it is the courting couple. But he's not on his knees. He should be. No, I'm joking. Um. <laughs> gold tone and courting couple. It's a nice little locket. Somebody asked me. It was Mike Rise Up. I don't know if that's the type of locket he'd be interested in. I sold Barb, um, some of my subscribers, a fabulous locket. Um, I'm not going to come across one like that in a while, I don't think. It was vintage Monet. These are nice as well. They're vintage. They're unmarked. They need cleaned. I wipe them. I do wipe my things up. I don't submerge my items in, like, vinegar water and stuff like that, though. You know, that caught, that is a very big risk. Especially if you do not know what you're soaking. You can destroy something that way. Even with Dawn detergent. I wipe it. Um, if somebody asks for silver to be cleaned, I need silver cleaning. Right now I've been buffing it with a rag. I mean my and it needs washed. Okay. It's it's had its time. It needs clean. I need more. I clean with that right now with in a cloth. I need to get some silver cleaner, but I do not submerge my jewelry. I will spot clean it. I will not submerge anything. I'm terrified of destroying it. That's Avon. Little Avon earrings. Pretty. Lovely. Earrings and brooch. I think it's lovely. Now my box. Listen to it. No, oh, you know how excited I was when I saw this? Just a few dollars. <laughs> look at the lady back. Oh my god, there's me, guys. I don't know any makeup on. I look really rough. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I don't care, neither do you, right, what I look like. It's a little bit, like, 
Oh my, but my shirt, you can see that my shirt out with that. Um, all right, this, sorry, excuse that. Um, let me lift it up. She's painted on there. And these open up. It's got blue lining, like a royal blue. It needs cleaned really bad. And it plays music. Nice, big old music box in there. And there's the front. I love it. I like this stuff. Um, I had a, I'm not going to get into that. I had a collection of some items that were taken for me. But I got a nice stand. I, well, that needs cleaned. I don't know what's going on there. I have to look at it. Um, I have a nice stand that I picked up, and that needs wipe. It looks like somebody sprayed that with something. And I'll clean it, whatever. It is a, it's a, it's still nice. And I didn't pay much for it, and I like it. I'll clean it out, and I will keep some of my jewelry that I really love in it. Um, things I'm not going to get rid of. But anyways, that's it. It's a 40 minute video. I, this, my video is getting longer and longer. Um, if you made it this far, I owe you a gift just for that. <laughs> Joking. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm going to jump over to that auction now and see what was sold already. If anything I was looking at still available. All right, guys. Thank you. And have a good day. A good night and a good tomorrow. And I will be back Saturday and or Sunday. All right, goodbye.